Hello everyone, my name is Veer and today we are going to see how you can run your Cypress test in parallel with GitHub Actions. Okay, so uh, let's say uh, if you have a project which has large number of tests, uh, it can take you know very long time to complete your test if you run your suit in serial mode on a single machine. Okay, so in order to avoid you know long running of your test suits and waiting for longer period of time to get the test results what you can do is you can run your cypress test in parallel inside your ci tool okay so in order to do that you have two options either is you can use cypress uh, feature called a cypress dashboard or a cypress cloud uh, which involves uh, you have to pay uh, some fee for their subscription okay other way is to you know you can create your custom logic that will you know help you to run your cypress test in a parallel okay so in this video we are going to see the second approach okay so uh, so the strategy that uh, i had followed to run your test in parallel is you know uh, we are splitting the total number of files on to different containers available in inside github action jobs okay so just to give an example let's say uh, you have 15 test files and you have five different containers available for running your cypress test then each container will execute three test files okay so that way we are splitting the entire execution of 15 files into different containers okay so uh, that's what you know approach we are going to follow and for that we had written one js file uh, that will help you to you know split those uh, test files on a different containers okay so for ready reference what i have done i have you know uh, created one project i'll quickly open that so it is it is the default project that comes with whenever you do the cypress uh, whenever you run the cypress for the first time okay so here what i uh, additional things that i have done is i have added a support for earlier report okay so once once the execution is completed it will generate a earlier report the first thing second thing is in order to achieve parallelization uh, i had created one uh, js file called as cypress parallel.js okay so what this file will do is basically based on the uh, path of your test folder let's say here i have specified the uh, dot slash cypress slash e2e so whatever the test files that are present inside uh, your e2e folder it will pick up and it will split based on your total number of containers available and the and the current container number okay so uh, just to give an example let's say i'll give you so just to you know check the logic is working correctly or not so let's say uh, i'm running this command like node cypress parallel js one comma temp so one is nothing but the current uh, node and 10 is 10 is uh, there are 10 number of nodes available for me to run the tests okay so if i execute this command so what it has done it has given you two test files actions.cy.js the first one and the second is network request.cy.j so it picked up only two files from the number of files that are available okay so so this this command will work for each and every node available okay i'll show you how this works in a, a gitlab sorry on a github actions using that yaml file how you can you know get the node index and total number of nodes in github actions okay so that that i will show you once we create that uh, github actions yaml file okay so so this is the crux uh, or the logic that we are using in order to you know split those files uh, onto different containers or nodes available okay uh, so now what we will do we will uh, add a, a github actions yaml file uh, to this project okay uh, so quickly what I'll do I'll create one folder uh, called as dot github okay. just give it as a dot github ok 
okay and inside that you have to create another folder called as workflows and inside it you have to create a yaml file i'll give name it is a main.yaml okay and here we will write a you know uh, different jobs and different steps uh, that we will execute inside each job to run your test inside a github inside a github using github actions okay so for ready reference what i have done i have created you know a job or a yaml file okay i'll, I'll just quickly explain you what are the contents contents of it okay okay so if you can see this particular file right it has basically two job jobs one uh, job two okay so in first job what we are doing is we are using their uh, one of the action to install the packages okay so what we are doing whatever the packages that we had mentioned inside a package.js it will install everything over there so that is the first thing that we are doing second thing what we are doing in the job one is to once the execution uh, is done okay we'll we are uploading the uh, earlier results to a build artifacts or uh, to a, or a artifact directory okay and here if you can see we had specified the strategy as a matrix it, it is nothing but we are uh, saying the github to you know have five containers ranging from zero to four uh, that means there are total five containers okay so there will be five containers available for us to run your test okay and here if you can see whenever we are running the uh, cypress test right we are specifying the which specs to be used okay and inside the specs what we are doing we are executing the custom file that we had created node cypress parallel.js and if you can see over here we are specifying the matrix container so so matrix containers what it will give you it will give you the current container where the tests are executing and uh, we are specifying there are five containers as we had mentioned zero to four there are five containers available for us so based on it what it will do it will split those files and also we are specifying to run it on browser chrome okay so this is the you know the uh, step first step that we are doing second step we are you know once the execution is completed upload the artifacts so this is our first job in second job what we are doing we are you know downloading the artifacts that nothing but the earlier results that are generated in your first job we are downloading it in in the second job okay second thing what we are doing over here is we also getting the earlier history from github pages okay so i'll, I'll explain you what what it will allow you to do okay so what what it will uh, does is let's say you are having a multiple runs of your project right test project then it will keep a history of previous runs as well so that will be present as a part of your github pages then once that is done we are you know generating the actual earlier report okay and once the earlier report is generated we are deploying that earlier report to github actions okay so these are you know different uh, steps that we do as a part of two jobs uh, that we had written in the inside this particular yaml file okay now what we will do we will create a repository on github and then we will push this particular code on github and let's see uh, how the executions happens over there okay so what i'll do i'll just open up the browser uh, for ready reference i had logged into github as well so i'll create a, a project called at cypress demo github parallel okay maybe just to know e r a double l e l okay and it will be a public repository i don't have any readme and everything i'll just create a repository okay so that's 
So that's now it. You know, now what we will our do? Changes first, uh, and then maybe we will so commit our existing code. These many okay, files that we are going to and then maybe and just add uh, we can push the code. We'll commit so these changes. Okay. Now these changes are our, on lo our local branch. Okay. This we need to push it to GitHub. So for that, what I'll do, I'll just uh, open that GitHub project as well, side by side. Okay so first thing is we have to add the remote origin so as we are pushing the existing repository right so i'll add that okay and then we have to push our branch so the our branch is master so instead of main we have to push our master branch git push minus u origin master okay so so it will basically ask you to you know authenticate yourself okay and once that is done it will push your entire code on to github so if you can see now the entire code is available okay and based on it i think it has also triggered a uh, GitHub actions as well. So quickly I'll show you. So if you can see demo parallel executions, it has started. And if you can see there are five jobs that are running in parallel. So so if you here you can see it is you know executing the test. And if you can see here, it is executing four four files. Okay, only four specs here. It is executing. If you go to the next job, let's say one. Let's see how many spec files here it is. So if you can see here, you know it has already executed the test. So some of the jobs are already completed their execution. So once the execution is completed, what it will do, it will, you know, upload the build artifact and go to the next step. So let's wait for a couple of more minutes. Okay, so if you can see five jobs has been completed now it is going to the next job that is building the report so here what it will do it will first download the uh, you know build artifacts you know also if it will check for you know are there any uh, previous build artifacts available in Git, github pages or build history is available inside a history and based on it will generate everything So if you can see the earlier report has generated now it has completed the report stage as well now uh, let's quickly see whether we are able to see the reports or not okay so for that what you have to do is we have to go to this particular stage and we have to check for the report URL. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I think I have not created a branch for report. So that's why, you know, it is not showing up over here. So here you have to just do one thing before running your job. You have to just create one uh, pages branch over here, GitHub pages 
and you have to save it okay so once that is done you know it will once the action is completed everything is completed so if you can see now the pages deployment job has started once i change that particular setting it has started deploying the project uh, report onto github pages so you have to keep one setting in mind that you have to you know create a pages branch from going pages here and just setting the github pages branch that's it so let's wait for that actions to complete now the pages has been deployed you can now check over there is there any url so if you can see there is one url available for your report and once you click on it it will generate you good looking earlier report i'll just quickly make it bigger so if you can see there are 122 tasks that are executed and everything is executed in parallel okay so that's it for this video guys thank you thanks for watching